Well, I think the way that the rugby has changed, the management team is bigger. So therefore, all the support systems that surround those, the medical staff, um, you know, the, the, the commercial team f through the sponsorship programme, the PR and the, and the press team, you know, all the camera crews that are with you. It, I mean, it's logistically an enormous operation. Now, that requires a, a lot of planning, um, requires a meticulous preparation and requires a lot of people to come together very quickly. We live up to our philosophy of best of best in everything we do. The fact that we select the very best doctors or medics, we select the very best analysts, we select the very best representatives in the logistics and media side. Our team is best of best. We don't allow anything get in the way of the planning for the coaches themselves. They don't have to worry about where they're training, they don't have to worry about the temperature of the ice bath, they don't have to worry about anything. Everything is prepared, ready to go for them. So from that point of view, they just slip in and they do what they do best, which is coach or, or play. There is a major risk when organising and managing a team. If the jerseys do not arrive on time, or if the jerseys are not with us, how can we take the field? If the scrum machines aren't at a training venue, we can't practice our scrummaging and we cannot operate. Everything is intrinsically linked to the performance of the team behind the team. If you look at rugby across the board, international rugby across the board, all of the international teams have significant support and backroom staff. You can't just turn up in New Zealand and expect to beat the double world champions with a team of four or five um, support staff. It's critical that you have the support, be it medical, be it performance, be it logistics and operations, to take on the best team in the world. The guys who were lucky enough to go out and represent the Lions on the field and wear the red jersey, all of them would tell you that, um, you know, without the support they get from the backroom staff um, on and off the field, uh, they wouldn't have any chance of being successful.